Hey YouTube, what's going on? Just wanted to post a video. Been getting a few questions here and there about wheel fitment as far as the rear. Um, on one of my older videos when the when the car was just a frame and it just got to be a roller, I talked about the the back spacing between the, the wheels after the C-notch. And before I did the C-notch, these wheels had a quarter inch to a half inch clearance. Now, after the notch, I have a good inch and a quarter to an inch and a half clearance. In which, if you were planning on getting a deeper backspace, um, the only foreseen problem I could see, in which I have the no binding uh, lower shock bracket, um, so it's kind of extended, it'll focus in on that. It's an extended bracket that you can get that kind of puts it a little bit lower. But the thing to note is the clearance from that to uh, the, the wheel itself. So if you wanted to run a deeper backspace, you would either uh, more than likely need to run a bigger rim or you'd have to probably put um, or not use this um, no binding shock bracket because if it was up in the stock location it would stick straight out and I would think it'd be able to clear just fine or to run a set of coilovers which in that case if you run a set right here from the shock mount you may still run into the same same issue unless you custom fab one where you do it from the rear end uh, to the top above the rear end or underneath the housing there where the coil goes to the top um, but other than that and the other thing to note is the tire as it sits in here it is very even I think it sits very good right inside the middle of the wheel well here between the outside of the quarter to the inner uh, c-notch to where and where I cut my c-notch it lined up almost perfectly where the uh, inner quarter is where it starts to go up inside the quarter which I think is pretty nice and the other thing being how these tires sit from when you're looking at dead straight in the back that's how it sits and then up top when you're looking down the body it is aligned I think about balls on as it's gonna get and it is dead even with the body line right of the of the rear quarter just where that lip pokes out and you can see down this side with the with the door on it when you're looking square down the body you can just barely faintly catch a glimpse of that tire so it is really clean really nice looking it doesn't stick out and I ended up putting a set of Belltech stock height springs because the way the car was sitting before it sat really low it sagged um, but being that it's got brand new polyurethane bushings, so they're not the factory ones that will crimp down. Um, and then with that, it gave me a 5-inch gap to try and fill, uh, in the rear anyways. And these are, again, these are the 15 by 10, 4.5-inch uh, backspacing JEGS SSR uh, uh, mag wheels. And then the tires are the Mickey Thompson uh, 275 50 ET street drag radials a lot of forms that I looked at the guys were running the 275 60 but for some reason I was worried thinking that it wouldn't clear at some point or something but a lot of them were also using um, coilovers on their cars but again this is factory stock height springs and with good bushings brand new bushings so the car is sitting where it should be 
and I have like a five inch gap here. So I'll end up be buying at least a set of two inch drop springs to lower that down a little bit. And then at some point, whenever I go through these tires and I buy another set, um, I'll end up getting the 60s. Although, I mean, it may be a small difference, but a taller tire, you know, it couldn't, it's not going to hurt anything and it'll make it look a lot better, especially with how much of a gap is there. In the front with the big block, I. Again, it's the same Beltec stock height springs, which I ended up cutting off, um, I think, a coil and a half. Um, also, mainly because it was really a pain in the butt to get these in to these uh, um, spawn lower control arms. It was a pain in the butt because it actually has a cup It's where it, it holds it in place. There is nowhere where that coil is going. But with the big block in there and everything else on the front end, it should sit down pretty far. But as you can see, the wheels, they sit very clean. They don't poke out, if at all. So if you guys need any ideas as far as wheels and stuff like that, or need just... A better image of rather than just buying a bunch of wheels and just seeing what fits there you have it that's it for right now